Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The Play Billing Library simplifies the development process for Google Play Billing, allowing you to focus your efforts on your app. And the official 1.0 release is now available. Head on over to the post linked in the description below for a video introduction and code. Cloud GPUs can accelerate your workloads, including machine learning training and inference, geophysical data processing, simulation, molecular modeling, and more. And now, faster GPUs are available. NVIDIA P100 GPUs are now in beta. NVIDIA K80 GPUs are now generally available on Google Compute Engine. And sustained use discounts are now available on both the P100 and the K80 GPUs. Google Cloud Data Prep is an intelligent, fully managed cloud service that visually explores, cleans, and prepares structured and unstructured data for analysis or training machine learning models. And now it's available to everyone as a public beta. Check out the post for more details and a video introduction. Cloud Natural Language enables you to extract critical information from written data. And we recently launched two new features that can help you further organize your content and better understand how your users feel. For more details on the launch and a tutorial on classifying text, check out the links below. Committed use discounts are now generally available. They are ideal for predictable steady state use of Google Compute Engine instances. They require no upfront pay payments and allow you to purchase a specific number of vCPUs and a total amount of memory for up to 57% off normal prices. More details are on the post. Stackdriver Debugger lets you inspect the state of an application at any code location without using logging statements and without stopping or slowing down your applications. And we just announced that Stackdriver Debugger for Node.js is now officially in beta. The agent is open source and available on NPM. Get started with the post. Our latest research with Ipsos suggests that people are three times more likely to pay attention to online video ads versus television ads. And within online video, people pay nearly twice as much attention to video ads on YouTube than they do on other social media. Head on over to the post to review four new tools to help you capture the attention of your audience on YouTube. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching another episode of The Developer Show. If you'd like to catch some of our prior episodes, they're right over here.